Introducing the challenger and number one ranked super middleweight in the world, Dr. of Style, Tim Little. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the IBF super middleweight champion of the world, James Lights Out Pony. Instructions. We've covered all situations and rules. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? 12 rounds championship fight. Let's go. The primary strategy confrontation here. Tony is often accused of being lazy and fighting only in spurts. It is said of Tony he only fights one out of every three minutes in most rounds. Virtually all of Tony's opponents have said, I'm going to pressure him. I'm going to make him fight every minute of every round. I'm best thing for Little is to stay relaxed. You start power, but just keep the points coming. He'll land one good body punch and wait to see if... Lots of fighters do it, right, George? That's what you do. He's been in with bigger guys the last few months. That's not going to happen. ...against an attacking opponent who'll give him a chance. I don't believe that Tim Littles is going to be able to be the... ...power and strength in Tony Shola. Once you move backwards. <laughs> Littles cautious so far. Tony waiting for an opening and... As is typical. Little touches him two times. He's got to go out and touch him three. But here in round one, we'll not approach that. Another good body puncher right to the body by Tony. Morrison bent in Tulsa, Oklahoma, October 29th, and would have to settle for a decision. Wonder what he's thinking of Littles right now. That you got to slow down the power and just get accurate, land more punches. Don't. Try head and shoulders never in one spot long enough. Primary voice in James Tony's corner is Trider and perhaps get ahead on the scorecard. Tony loves to talk big. He promised us enough that he's done that. Lands a right hand over the top. James Tony, a very patient fighter. And Tony was this time. This may give him a little added and maybe too much confidence too early. A good idea. Right hand by Littles, right on the button. Fighters and Little is nothing to play with. Hey, you got to respect this guy. He's a sensational looking with bigger guys. I've been hit harder. Believe me, little guys cannot be out. A bit to celebrate. Little is starting to go too, too hard. And it's already starting. But believe me, Tony is already fast, particularly in his best performance against Iran Barkley. You go wide with your punches, and he'll come up the middle. And come back with a left, uh, roll the left hook, right hand, and come back with it. If Little is able to throw that right hand and hook behind it, he can drop early in this fight. To, to Tony, Littles is leaving the left hand out there, and James is coming over the top of it. Now there's a left by Littles. Pick it up with Jimmy Conner, his right hand. That big right hand that lifted Tony off one leg early in the round. Tony has a habit of ducking away from the right hand and trying to ride it out. For shots. So Tony, normally hard to... Counter right. Littles has to be careful to get that left hand back after he throws the jab. Not only that, let's keep his movement a little bit more into his shoulders. Jabs by with his counter punching, George. And he, he keeps him in position to automatically cover himself up. Half hearted with the right to the body there. Should have committed more to the punch. Little. Came awful close to getting that right hand in. When in doubt, most judges will err on the side of the busier fighter, right? That's true. Point when he should be building up a point system. He's gotten his power punches in now. Left hook wobbled Littles. Tony thinks he has him in trouble. Plenty of time left in round three. Little Tony has got his timing perfectly down now. Tim Littles is losing his legs here in round three. James Tony's got him in trouble. 37 seconds left in which to try to do some damage. Tony trying to choose his shots, and down goes the doctor. Three, four, five, six. First time.
time Tim Littles has ever tasted canvas in his professional career. This is his 25th fight. He's in serious trouble now as Tony tries to finish. Littles can't be saved by the bell. He's going to make it out of the round. That's a very, very bad cut over the eye. He's going to have to go out. There you saw where Tony started that, that rally in the middle of the round that took him to the club, but where the punch came. In California, they can take a free Pat Russell nose and he's secure in his own mind as to exactly where that butt or that cut came from. I think it had to be a headbutt, but I don't want to leap to too many conclusions. Littles goes down again. This is highly... I can't imagine Lou Duva allowing this fighter to get caught with so many hard shots this early in his career. Look at the purposefulness of James Tony as he once again puts Littles down. It's got to be scored a knockdown, and it will be. Six. Seven. Rule in effect for this title bout. So Littles can go down again without being automatically eliminated. of the historic performance by Sugar Ray Leonard, by Sugar Ray Robinson, excuse me, way back when he was cut late in the fight and had to go out and knock out and score a knockout to win. This came Against about because Randy Turpin, Tony knew that if this fight goes 12 rounds, the probabilities could be against him. He knew a knockout was his best bet tonight, and he got it. Tremendous drama as an unbeaten champion the one unbeaten champion with the most fights and the most victories of any of the 13 currently active in the sport found himself. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Pat Russell calls a halt to the bout. The official time, one minute and three seconds of round number four. The winner by technical knockout and still the undefeated IBF super middleweight champion of the world, James uh, Lights Out. Holy! I didn't know how bad the cut was. Only thing I know when I came back to the corner, Bill was like, "We gotta stop this guy right now. Can't take no more chances." I like, "Oh man, I seen them. I seen the blood running now. I seen red. It means he has to die." And you see what happened to him. Everybody back in Flint. I told you he's a bum. I beat everybody out there. Can't nobody mess with me. Hey Kevin, you will, baby. I love you.